Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Big Fish Synergy. Oh man, every time it's more terrible than the last. But today I'm here to talk about one of my favorite baits ever. It's fall, it's the season, so we gotta talk about it. Hopefully I can edit this video in time to get it to you where it's relevant, who knows. But it's time to talk about Bum, bum, bum. The Black Dog Baits Wooden Shell Cracker Build Edition. Now, this is one of the most coveted, in my opinion, one of the most coveted weight baits out there. I have been looking for one of these for two years. They're nearly impossible to find. I finally was on the Black Dog website late one night and uh, I happened to um, I happened to come across this baby and it was uh, it was available for sale and I just jumped on it and it has not left my low down custom medium heavy paired with a Daiwa Z setup since I got it and it's produced some absolutely violent catches. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into this video and then I'll give you a little bit of commentary on uh, how I like to fish this and where it's most effective. Boom. Okay guys, so yeah, as I said in that intro, or as I alluded to, I fished this on a Lowdown Custom, can you see that? Lowdown Custom, medium heavy, moderate fast, um, swim bait stick, big handle, paired with a Daiwa Z2020, which I talk about in most of my videos. Spool with 80 pound Max Quattro braid, and then tied to a um, 25 pound Maximal Ultra Green leader, mono leader, uh, via FG knot and then I have a double uni knot with six wraps and uh, I believe these are these are the stock hooks that it came with they look like VMC 2x I could be wrong on that I don't know where Jeremy gets his hooks but they're really really strong and really really sharp and they get the job done so uh, yeah where do I like to fish this and how do I like to fish this I honestly like to fish this all day long this is a bait that I would have tied on no matter what it's super versatile. Um, it can be effective early morning and late at night and middle of the day, the highest part of the day if on an extremely slow wake. The, the greatest thing about the shell crackers is that they have the ability to, um, to move extremely slowly while the tail still generates movement. Not a lot of wake baits can do that. He has that ingenious tail design. And as you can see, I already have a lot of paint knocked off the tail because I've gotten uh, bit so many times on this bad boy um, That slow wake in conjunction with his incredible paint job and the lifelike motion just generates some absolutely vicious hits um, And you're gonna see them throughout this video that there's slurp bites. There's bites where the fish completely envelops the bait um, There's just vicious and subtle and everything in between and you can also crank this thing down and, um, and, and you know, get it subsurface. It'll crank down to like three or four feet depending on your line and, and how, how hard you're cranking. And then you can actually dead walk this thing to where it'll just suspend and move back and forth almost like a DRT Tiny Clash or, or a K9, Clash 9. And uh, it'll get hit, um, you know, if you're throwing that like around cover or junk or laydowns and you wanna crank down, it's got that real strong bill. It'll deflect off uh, wood pretty good. And um, yeah, it'll get bit like that. I mean, you just cannot fish this thing wrong. This is an extremely versatile bait. It's one of these real McCoy baits that I think everybody should have or own one of them. And look at that paint job. It just looks real. It acts real. Uh, I can't say enough good things about it. So let's watch some of these insane catches and you're gonna see you're gonna see a certified giant in this video. So get ready. Here we go. Thank <laughs> you. 
just got little little guy little chunk Yes, that was the one. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, slurp fight. Oh. Right before sundown, managed to get on a uh, nice two and a half, maybe a three pounder, but I'm thinking like two and a half. And uh, let's see if I can show you this here. Smoke the, the wooden shell cracker kind of like a slurp bite. Oh. I didn't even know there was uh, still fish back here. But look at that. Got it pretty good. We'll get a release right now. And uh, the shell cracker comes through and beats the skunk. Awesome. Let's try to throw this bigger profile and see if the bass maybe thinks it's uh, feeding, also feeding on big fish and uh, maybe takes a shot at ambushing it. I'm just gonna throw right at those bait fish over there. Yep, perfect. Maybe once it sees this bluegill kind of coming in on that territory, see the bait fish are right there. That's exactly what happened. It's just slurped it. It's just slurped it. They're just eating the bait fish over there. It threw this in its presence. First, first wake bait fish of the year. Probably two pounds right on the right on the nose. Give one more cast of this guy. I knew I'd get one more. Mm. 
same type of eight. Okay, just gonna get this guy back in real quick. Gonna have to flip him out because they're not really an access point. Oh, here's a little, oh, that's what I was afraid of. Here's a little channel. See you, buddy. I just kind of showed you the, the retrieve. You can probably do it on one cast here. Check this out. Okay, so here's that slow wake that I was talking about. Now you can also do this choppy kind of walk, which is great. Now you can crank it down and get it super erratic, starts and stops. And then you can do this dip. Oh, hold on, let me get it out one more time just so you can see. You can get this crank down and then dead walk it. And it'll suspend and kind of float back up. And it'll get freaking tattooed like that. So you have a lot of versatility on the retrieves with this thing. It. Oh my God. It's like a three. Oh man, he just slurped that right down. Oh Got a pretty good one on a slurp bite on a big wooden shell cracker. And this one's probably around three pounds or so, but it's just midday heat. Um, he slurped it right where I thought it was pretty much gonna be, right by a weed cluster. Fishing it super slow came up real subtle bite let him take it just set the hook and uh or just a little little tug tug into it and oh it's a beautiful green green guy we're gonna get a release right now awesome get him back in just let him swim off here i just turn right around Swim back, watch this. Don't worry. There you go. Now he's right in. Yep. Right out there. Perfect. Wow, that is some salad. Uh, Look at this chode. Oh. Like a four pounder probably. Not even. Okay, so I just got this guy. 
on a uh, the wooden shell cracker, bringing it in super slow. Uh, they're starting to finally come out to feed. It's been a tough day, but this guy slurped it down. Oh. It's probably like a three six, three seven, three eight. Um, nice, nice hit on it though. Hit it right by a clump of pads. So we'll get a wait and get this uh, baby release. That's a good one. Wow. Yeah. Oh, it's just a lot of grass. Yeah. The skinny guy. Uh, Decent one, but uh, not bad. Uh, Little guy. Uh, Definitely. <laughs> and getting released back into the environment. Peace. Last cast. Well, that was my last cast. I just got this, uh, this behemoth. This is probably a mid four, I'd say. Maybe a five, I don't know. It looks a little thin, but look at that T-bone job. Right as the sun goes down, um, the wooden shell cracker has been getting the job done. Come on.
Yep. So that's the one. Guys, this could be a new PV. This might be a seven pounder. Um, I'm gonna get a weight on her in a second. It was just a slow, a really slow retrieve on the wooden shell cracker. Look at this freaking fish. That is an absolute giant. Um, oh my God. I can't believe it. Um, man. I'm shaking right now. I gotta get a weight on this thing and get her back in. Pinch the tail. It's 21 and a half, looks like. And that is a absolute toad. Ah. Six, nine. Guys, one more time. Got to wait on this girl. Uh, six, nine. So close to seven. Can't believe it. Just a chode. Uh, just an absolute tank, actually. Only 21 and a half. If I had another inch, I would have had the seven. Well, let's get her in. Uh. See ya. Goodbye, big girl. Have a good, uh, have a good night. Bye bye. Okay, so yeah, guys, thank you so much for uh, for tuning in and, and watching the whole video. And I hope you really enjoyed uh, the content and you can take, uh, you know, some of what you saw in this video and some of what I was talking about and apply it to your own fishing. I mean, again, this is a bait that I believe every single person uh, should try to own if you can. Oh, one more thing that I want to talk about that I don't know if I mentioned before. I'm fishing this on a decoy x -Net. This is the uh, size four, which is rated up to 150 pounds. I go big or go home with this thing. Because when you throw this, when you cast this baby, it's almost like throwing like a softball. It's just a lot of mass. I want the strongest stuff I, 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 I can get for this without impeding the movement. And I actually attach it right to the split ring and it does work like that. Um, no, no difference. For me, I haven't seen any um, drop off in results. In fact, uh, it probably helps it out swim just a little bit straighter, especially when you're cranking down. That, that snap really does great work with that type of stuff. So again, uh, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to uh, like, comment, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring that notification bell to stay uh, up to date with everything uh, Big Fish Synergy related. Um, I'll definitely catch you on the next one. Hope you guys are out there catching giants. Remember, one cast, one bite, one big fish. Let's go make it happen, get it done. Peace out.